Hey, welcome to Mimi Math. Today we're going to learn how to find the equation of a line if you're given two points. So our two points are 3, 1 and 7, 4. And we're going to write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, which is our slope intercept form. So for an equation, we need two pieces of information. The first one is m, which is our slope. And the second one is B, which is our intercept. So let's go through and find each part. Okay, for slope, you're going to use your slope equation. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So let's subtract our Y's on top. 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1 over, and if I use the 4 first, I have to use 7 first, 7 minus 3. So that gives me a slope of 3 fourths. Okay, so that's the first step is to find the slope. Now let's find the intercept. Now there are two ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is just using the form y equals mx plus b and using the slope we just found and then one point to solve for b. So let's plug in. Um, we can pick either point, either 3, 1 or 7, 4. I'm going to pick um, 3, 1. So I'm going to use the point 3, 1 and the slope of 3 fourths. And so I'm going to plug in for y, I'm going to plug in a 1. For m, that's the slope I just found, I'm going to plug in a 3 fourths. And for x, I'm going to plug in positive 3. And I'm going to solve for b. So now I'm going to multiply 3 fourths times 3. When you take a fraction times a whole number, stick a 1 under it, and then just multiply top and bottom. So that gives me 9 fourths plus b is equal to 1. And then I have to subtract 9 fourths from both sides. Now if you remember, when you have a whole number minus a fraction, I've got to write this whole number as a fraction with a denominator of 4. So that's going to be 4 fourths. Anything over itself is 1. So 4 fourths minus 9 fourths is negative 5 fourths. And that is my value for b. So once I simplify that, I can now use my b and my intercept, which uh, I mean my slope, which is 3 fourths, and write my equation. So I plug in y equals, and my slope is 3 fourths. Leave the x as your variable, and then plug in b as negative 5 fourths fourths. And that's how you write the equation of a line given two points. Now you can use a second equation. Once you find your slope, if you want to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, you can plug in for the x and y and the slope into this equation and then simplify that one also. That is called a point slope equation where you have a point and the slope and you plug in and you just simplify that. So hope this video was helpful and giving you a couple options to find the equation of a line given two points.